In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the physics engine inside of Blender, and more specifically, the cloth dynamics. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have the basic default Blender scene open up here with the cube right in the middle, and we're actually going to just keep that there for this tutorial. So what we want to do is go over here to our Create tab, and let's just drop in a plane. And we're just going to translate that up, and we can go ahead and press S on our keyboard to scale that out. We'll just scale that out to about that size should should work for us. And this is going to act as our cloth, this plane here. So what we want to actually do now is start subdividing this cloth because the way we have it, there's just not enough resolution to be able to properly simulate a cloth folding and falling over this cube, which is what we're going to set up here. So make sure your plane is selected. We're going to go down here to object mode. We're going to select that and go to edit mode. And now let's just press W on our keyboard. This will open up this menu here. And we're just going to select subdivide. And just repeat that process a couple of times, pressing W to open that up, selecting subdivide, until we have it subdivided. About like that should work for what we want to do. All right, great. So make sure we're back under object mode here. And I'm just going to expand this panel out here. So just select the corner here until you see these arrows and just pull that out. And you can start to see on the right there we got more icons visible because before they were hidden and now we just want to expand those until we see the last one visible which is the physics panel. So select that and now you can see all the different physics options we have available to us. We have soft body, fluid, smoke, rigid body. And right now we're just going to stick with cloth simply because these different physics can really be saved into later tutorials so we can really dive deeper into them. So let's go ahead and just stick with cloth. So with the plane selected, I select cloth here, and we're going to go down to presets and just make sure you're under the silk preset. And now if we play back this simulation by starting the timeline here, starting the animation, you can see that our cloth <laughs> basically falls through that cube, which isn't really what we want. So we want to tell Blender that this cube is going to act as the collision object. So our cloth will actually fall on top of it and interact with it. So to do that, we want to select the cube, make sure you're under your physics panel here, and just select collision. Now we'll just tell, this, tell Blender that we want this cube to, it's not going to actually move in the viewport, in the simulation. What is actually going to happen is it's going to tell Blender that we want other object, other simulations happening inside of Blender to be able to interact with this. So this is usually what you want to set your floor to be, would be a collision object. You don't want the floor to actually move, but you want other objects to be able to interact with it. So that's what we're doing here. So now if we play back this simulation, we can see that our cloth falls nicely over that cube. And what we can do now is actually right-click this plane and go to Tools, and we're just apply smooth shading just to make it a little bit smoother there. All right, great. So while this is looking awesome, it's not very practical. This is a good learning exercise just to kind of see how to set up a cloth simulation, but how often are you really going to have a cloth fall on top of a cube? So let's take a look at different ways you can use this in some other different areas of your project. Maybe if you wanted to create like a curtain or maybe a flag, let's just go ahead and just run through that process real quick. So to do that, let's make sure our plane is selected. We're going to go to edit mode. And I'm just going to select two of these vertices here. So we're going to right click this vertex, shift, and right click the very end vertex there. And I'm actually going to go to control G and just do assign to new group. And now we'll just assign these vertices to their own group. And we can go back to object mode again with our plane selected. Let's go over here to pinning and check that box. And now select this little tab here and we can select group. And that's the group we just created with the vertices. So now if we play back this simulation, check out what happens. Our cloth is actually pinned on those two vertices points. So this would be great if you wanted to set up a curtain. You might have a pole holding this up and you would pin these vertices like this to create kind of a curtain. Maybe you wanted to create a flag blowing in the wind. This would be a great way to start doing that. And we can go ahead and just move this cube out of the way just to kind of see the simulation 
happening there. Pretty cool. You can see that it's holding there on these two vertice points. And we could actually select this cube if we wanted to run this simulation. And we can actually start moving this cube to kind of interact with our curtain there. That's just kind of fun thing to mess around with. All right, awesome. We've learned how to make an object, a cloth object, and create a really nice cloth simulation. And we also utilize pinning to create a more specific scenario with the cloth, maybe if you want to create a curtain or a flag, because not everybody wants to just have a cloth fall on top of a cube. So be sure to check back to the blog for more great tutorials.